We are seeing the effects of the recession right now. Declining home sales, high interest rates, layoffs, and well, our sales as small business owners are declining. This is a scary time. I get it, it's a scary time for me too, but there are things that you can do to prepare for this not so great economy. <laughs> My biggest advice to you as an entrepreneur, as a lash artist, wherever you're at in this industry is to protect your mind. Now your mind is so powerful. So what you tell it, what society tells it, the noise that you hear, you're gonna believe it and it is going to change the way you behave and it really affects your business. So protect your mind. And I know it's really hard to do that right now. You want to panic because everything around you is making you want to panic. The news, the radio, the social media, everything, your family dinner, everyone is talking about this recession and it's scary. I get it. I completely get it. But you need to protect what you hear, what you're feeding your subconscious because you're going to become more fearful and you're going to panic and we don't need that. So work on what you are telling yourself. Yeah, this recession, it's happening and it sucks and I get it, but you're gonna get through it. A recession happens and there are things that you can do so you are prepared. Be the smart one, don't panic and take action. The next thing that you can do is go through your expenses. Now, I'm in the process of this. I've been in the process actually for six months. Every month I'm looking at it and reducing things, making some changes. So maybe you haven't gone through your subscription list. Go through it. This is the time. Um, maybe you have some memberships that you don't really use or maybe you don't really even enjoy and you just have it. Cut it out. For me, examples for my salons, we have this water service and we would never use it. Every once in a while, a client would get a water or a lashers would get a water, but I was paying $500 a month for this water service. So instead of doing that, I canceled that to save some money and I got Brita's for all the salons. Now it was a $40 investment, but after that I pay for a filter once a month. So I'm saving quite a bit of money every month by just making that change. So think about things that maybe you can adjust to save some money. Now, this is something that you should do even in a thriving economy, but we get busy because business is booming. We forget about these things or it doesn't really matter because we're not counting pennies, but now this is a necessity and hopefully you can just get in the habit where every month you can look at this every quarter. So when the economy does does come around, then you have this habit in place and you're always tight. But also there's a point to this too that I wanna make life is about living and enjoying and all of that good stuff. So if you enjoy something, if you enjoy your Starbucks coffee, maybe reduce it to twice a month, twice a week, twice a month is a little extreme, twice a week and you'll, I promise you'll enjoy it even more that you're not getting it once a day or twice a day. And that will save you a lot of money. So you can change some habits, you can change some expenses to keep more money in your pocket. Get into your bank account, get into your credit cards and really dive into it and start making those changes. I also recommend making as much money as you possibly can when you can. If you are a lash artist and you work for yourself, maybe you have a client who wants to come in at six o'clock, but you close at six. This is not the time to stick to your policies, stick to your hours. This is the time to go above and beyond for your clients. Take whatever money you can take within your values and integrity, of course, but this is not the time to turn away clients. Maybe you have a client that is a little difficult and you really just want to say no, like I'm not seeing you anymore, but right now in a recession, it's not the time. So take all of the clients you possibly can say no way less. If 
if it again fits within your integrity and your values, I am not saying to go make money in a way that doesn't sit right with you. Please do not do that. But I am saying if it comes to you and maybe before you were a little bit, I don't know, bratty, you didn't have to take that client because your books were full. Okay. Now it's a different time. Take that client that's mm, a little difficult or the client that wants to come in late. Try to gather as many opportunities to build up your finances as possible. This is the time. The next thing is to pay off debt. Now interest rates are high, right? So we don't want to be spending all this accumulated money, all of this money that we took for maybe those difficult clients on debt. So with whatever money you have left over, pay off your debt, pay off your credit card debt. Wouldn't it be nice if our mortgage was paid for and our car was paid off and all of this? Yes, student loans, I get it. I'm not talking about that though. I'm talking about your Visa, your MasterCard, your American Express. Why do you have a credit card? Um, with debt, just pay it off. Don't pay those high interest rates. You're throwing away money. So try to get that paid off as soon as possible. Now I am not judging you. I am not one to judge. I've had that before. I've had high credit card bills, especially when I first started my business 15 years ago. But what I am saying is get rid of it. Like this is the time. Now you can get away with all the BS when the economy is thriving. You can't get away with it now. So take care of it. Now, once you get that debt paid off, because you are 2023, you are going to get it done. No more excuses. You're going to save. Now, if you work for a lash company, there might be a chance you get laid off. If you work for yourself, you might not be able to pay your studio rent. There's a chance that might happen in this kind of economy. So it's really important to have a cushion, to have a savings account. So when things go bad, you're okay. And it's going to help you with your panic and stress to your mind state, knowing that you have that. So start building up a savings account. Now I've said this so many times, all of these tips are really great for you as a business business owner or just a lash artist working for someone else, just you as a person, you should do this in both economies in a high economy, a low economy, but especially now make sure you have a savings. So my last one is a little bit different and I really hope it doesn't offend anyone, but I'm trying to be as realistic as possible. Now in this, econ um, this economy, you need to be the best you possibly can. Again, in a thriving economy, you should be the best that you can too for your own self-confidence. But in this kind of economy, you need to be the best. This is my example. Say you work for um, a lash salon. You don't work for yourself. You work for a company. You have three lash artists who are working on a Tuesday evening, but there's only two full set appointments at six o'clock. Now who are going to, who, who's going to get the two appointments? You are not going to get that appointment. If you are not the best lash artist with the best customer service, the owner, the receptionist are going to give it to the lash artist who are the best because they want to retain that client. You have to be the best lash artist and you have to have the best customer service because there's only a certain amount of appointments at the times that you want to work and you want them. So you have to be the best. And this goes, if you own your own business too, if there are five full sets out in the universe for Scottsdale, Arizona, but there's 10 lash salons, well, those five appointments are going to go to the best salons, not the ones that aren't posting on Instagram, that do, they don't do quality work, that maybe they're a little bit moody, their energy isn't that great. So those are five appointments are going to go to the salons, the studio spaces that are really doing a great job. So in a thriving economy, yeah, you can be kind of chill. You can kind of half it, your quality of work. You don't have to be super nice or get back to your clients right away. But in this economy, those people don't last. Those are the people that are going to lose their businesses or going to have to go into their savings account. So, and just from the nicest place, do your best, wake up every day and do great 
work, post it on Instagram, get back to your clients, do whatever you can to be the best lash artist, best lash salon, because this is the time that you need to step up your game. This is it. And of course, it's gonna get better. Our economy is gonna get better. And whatever classes you took to get better, if you took a mega volume class, a styling class, if you took a business class, whatever it is that you invested in yourself to be the best is gonna help when the economy thrives too. So it's just a good thing to do no matter what, but right now you have no choice but to be the best. So again, I know this is a really scary time, but you're not gonna look at it that way anymore. You're gonna look at it as this is a learning experience because anything difficult is gonna make you stronger, better, wiser, and you have this. Now, if you start getting in your head, come back to this video, listen to it, DM us on Instagram. I understand what you're going through because I too am going through this and I have to watch my mind. So we are here for you, we are gonna get through this. Technically, we've been in a recession for like seven months and the average recession lasts 16 months. So we're there, we're, we're getting through it. So we've made it this far, we're gonna get better, we're gonna make it. I'll see you soon.